I think a data catalog has changed over the years. Try to look at this in a couple different generations of catalogs. You know, the first generation was really good at collecting a lot of information about your data ecosystem, right? What kind of tables were there? What kind of columns were there? I think we've moved on to this sort of into Gen 2 and now into Gen 3 data catalogs where it's all about activating different types of metadata. So it's not just about collecting and siloing information into one centralized catalog. It's also being able to utilize that metadata in other parts of your data and analytics ecosystem. Fundamentally, um, we are collecting and cataloging or inventorying your data assets. A data asset could be a table, a column, a pipeline, a dashboard, you know, all kinds of different artifacts across your data and analytics ecosystem. And then what we're also doing in, I would say, a modern data catalog is typically things like lineage or an accompanying business glossary, um, all around supporting metadata use cases and all around making things more discoverable and understandable uh, in your data ecosystem. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd love to learn more about Atlin or you just want to see a product demo or talk to someone on our sales team, make sure you follow the links in the description below. If you love the video, smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out clips like this all the time. There's probably already clips on the screen that I know you want to watch. Thanks everyone.